Hey guys, I'm Dr. Katrina and I'm going to show you four stretches for low back pain. A lot of people are sitting a lot now, working at home, um, while we try to get outside and move it can be very difficult. So here are some things you can do for tight and stiff low back, perhaps pain into the buttocks. So the first one, you're just going to come onto your back. And depending if it's more comfortable to have your legs bent, maybe one straight, you're gonna take one knee at a time and you're gonna bring it in towards your chest. At a stretch, you can extend that leg. So this is gonna stretch in through the glute. You can go ahead and rock side to side here. Find the spot where you feel the stretch and also practice on taking deep belly breaths, pushing your stomach into your thigh. When you breathe out, you can actually try to pull that knee a little closer towards your chest. Try to keep those shoulder blades nice and relaxed. You're not hiking those shoulders up. And just squeeze that knee in towards the midline. After about 45 seconds, deep belly breaths in this position, you can switch knees. And you can also again move side to side. You can even do both knees together. So that's one stretch. From here, I'm gonna take my left leg and I'm gonna cross my ankle over my right thigh just above the knee. All right, so even just from here, I can feel if I push on that left leg, I can feel a stretch into my glute. If I want to increase this stretch, and if it feels comfortable on the low back, I'm going to raise this right heel up and start to bring my knee in towards me. That's going to increase the stretch not only in the glute, but into that hamstring. I can take my arms, wrap them around. Again, go as far as is comfortable for you. If you feel mild discomfort, maybe a one to three out of 10, that's okay. And again, big belly breaths. When you breathe out, really push that low back into the floor. The more you can expand your diaphragm in this position, the more you're gonna get stretch on the inside of all the tissues there, all those deep muscles to the low back or lumbar spine. So really take deep belly breaths. Once again, after about 45 seconds, switch sides. First, then you can push that knee away. As you bring that knee in closer, most of the time, you're going to feel it more on the side. For an added stretch, you can even straighten that leg, curling those toes towards you, and you'll feel a stretch into your hamstring. Once again, deep belly breaths. You can push that knee, pull it in towards you, and again, switching sides. It's not a race, so take it easy with these ones. If I sit up, if I keep that left leg straight, I can bring my heel in towards my groin there. Okay. A lot of times when people reach down towards their foot, they tend to arch over like this. What I want you to do is just focus on bringing your chest forward. That might mean that you can't reach your toe, but you can grab onto that thigh and just pull yourself forward like this. The nice thing is you can do this seated in a chair as well. You don't have to be down on the mat. And again, just 45 seconds, really breathing into that stomach again. Trying to go as far as you can towards your belly. We'll switch sides. Okay, a last one from here is called the figure four. So depending on how you stretch in this position, you can work a lot of different muscle groups. So both your legs are going to be at 90 degrees, but you're going to tuck one of them behind you. Again, for some people, this might be a lot, so go ahead and widen that ankle or angle if you need to. So if you're in a figure four like this, you're going to come down and try to once again bring that chest to the top of your knee here, and you'll feel that a lot in the glute. If you choose, you can come on over more over this leg. Same thing, wherever you feel that stretch, 45 seconds, deep belly breaths. 
Take your time and then we can switch. Same idea, my chest is gonna come down towards this knee. Or I can reach down more in front. So focus on your breathing, take them nice and slow. Again, these are more stretches to help decrease pain. So we're not rushing through them. If you have perhaps yoga balls would be the best because they're a very good consistency that aren't gonna cause any harm to your tissues. But you can use a squash ball or a tennis ball as well. You can do all these stretches, but with the ball behind your back. So I'm gonna put this right here between the top of my hip and my ribs. So right in the soft part of my low back. I'm gonna come on down and do that same one where I'm bringing my knee to my chest. You can rock back and forth on the ball. Or if you find a spot like I just did right here, again, take those deep belly breaths, pushing your stomach into your knee. When you breathe out, instead of pushing your back into the floor this time, you're gonna push your back down into the tuna ball. Same thing, I can cross this leg. Still work the glute while breathing into the ball. If I was in the figure four position, you might feel increased uh, stretch by putting this or pressure underneath that front glute. And then same idea, the knee's now raised so it's less of a stretch in the hip, but now I can get a tender spot in my glute or hamstring and I can lean down over the ball this way. So try these stretches out. Send me a message if you have any questions. Thanks.